Hello everybody and welcome back to another exciting episode of the wonderful Wubulus Project Zomboid. It is uh, an interesting situation we find ourselves in on the train tracks with a hunting knife just looking for a place to call home for a little while as we eventually make our way over to the mall which is the overall end goal. What a day I've had today man. Today, the day of this recording which is going to be yesterday for the time you guys have been viewing this, um, was so busy, was so busy. Uh, it sucks because I didn't get as many videos as I'd like to have gotten out um, yesterday. I, I, right now I have three out. I'm hoping to get four out by the end of the day. But I, the more time passes, the less that looks seems likely. And because I need to like rush it out because I'm not going to be home today at all because it's D&D &D day. Um, it's just like I'm just stressed out that I'm not getting as many videos as I'd like to get out today. It, it sucks. And the reason for that is because we had an impromptu recording session with Arumba. And Ryan, oh fuck, I forgot to put the map up today. Uh, Roomba, Ryan, and Quill, because Arumba is leaving uh, today, well, tomorrow, technically, uh, to go to a, his sister's wedding. Um, so, with that being the case, he's not going to be around to record on Friday, obviously, and that's obviously understandable. So we need to figure out a day where we could get some recording done, and that was today. Um, that ended up being today, and that threw a massive kink in the works for me. Um, just because I tend to, like I said, I like to record, record reactionary commentary, I guess is, is the way to put it, where I'm able to interact with most of you guys almost immediately after, you know, the day after the video goes live. So I can kind of just, you know, have the most up-to-date commentary I could possibly give you. It's one of my weird little pet peeves, I guess, uh, when it comes to commentating on, on games. Um, but because of that, I, I can get myself into a, a bit of a, of a, of a rut because I'm recording so last minute to keep myself up to date as quickly as possible. And I've contemplated so many times um, w recording, you know, a bulk and, and just keeping a, a back end of, uh, of content for me to put out for you guys. That way I never have to worry about days like today or tomorrow where something ends up coming up and um, now I'm just, you know, in trouble uh, as far as content is concerned. But uh, I never do it. I never do it because I prefer to have content that is, you know, as fresh as possible. And it's definitely biting me today. And I don't like it. I don't like it because it's surprising. A day of, of less videos significantly can impact my daily views, which uh, obviously is important to me because the more views I get, the more I get out there and the more people see me, find me, et cetera, et cetera. And it can impact my views by like 10,000, which at this point in my career isn't massive, uh, but it's still big enough to, to see a hit, and I don't like it. I don't like it at all, and I try to avoid that whenever possible. Um, with that being said, the sometimes you just can't avoid it, and I'm just kind of venting right now because I do use this particular forum, um, this particular video series, to do a lot of discussion, uh, just like general discussion. Um, but, you know, there's nothing I can do about it. I'm hoping to get four videos out today. I like to do five. Five is like kind of my sweet spot. I just don't think it's going to end up happening. Um... But we'll see. We'll see. I did, did I? Yeah, I did. I'm trying to think of what I was going to put out today, too. Oh, the video that I'm not going to be able to get out, I don't think, is going to be the Tropico video, which means it's going to go out uh, the day of this video, so Thursday. Um, one of the very last Tropico videos I think I'll be recording it for a long time. Um, I was really just, when I was recording it, I realized how exhausted I immediately got playing that game. Not a lot was going on. It was incredibly slow-paced. Uh, for even for a Tropico video and not a lot was interesting enough for me to to really Say you know the series should keep continuing I think I'm gonna be wrapping up Tropico soon and replacing it with a series I think a lot of people are gonna be really excited for particularly some old-timers who've been around at least my content uh, Longer than most, but I don't know yet. We'll see. Um, I have plenty of ideas for series as I always do I'm always got ideas floating up in my head and there will never be a time where I am like, what am I going to provide for content? Because I always have ideas that will be entertaining for you guys to watch, entertaining for you guys to listen to, or introduce you to guys to new indie games that you guys should be grabbing, um, which is always the goal. Uh, right now, a couple of Judge Mathises that I'm looking into doing, um, I will definitely spoil them uh, right now to tell you which ones I'm doing. I'm not going to tell you what I think of the games yet. Uh, one is Magicite. Magicite has been getting a lot of buzz lately. In fact, Northern Lions has got a series on it right now. He likes it so much. Um, another is Xenonauts, which is awesome because Xenonauts is one of those games that I covered ages ago um, that I loved, and so did you. And I'm excited to kind of get back to it. And uh, take a look at what the official release of the game is out. It's, it's no longer early access. It's no longer an early build. It is a game that's officially been released. And uh, for me, that's really exciting because Xenonauts had a lot of promise and potential. And even that early build, 
uh, offered a lot of re- a lot of playability to the point where I even did a series on it back in the day. Um, so I'm excited to drop back and check that game out again, just because I, I really do think that that game has a lot of uh, a lot of promise, and it, it looks to provide that hardcore XCOM experience that the remake of XCOM obviously did not provide, which is not a bad thing, mind you. It's just how it is. They were looking to be obviously much more inclusive. So they didn't, I don't want to say dumbed down, but they definitely simplified things like act, the action point system and so on, which totally worked. I loved XCOM. Its expansions are great. It is an awesome, awesome reboot. Um, and I'm looking forward to more in the series. Uh, but for a more nitty gritty, more detail oriented, more strategic minded game, Xenonauts looked like it was going to be filling that niche um, that old XCOM left behind. So I've been really eager to dig my teeth into it. And it looks like on Friday, I'm going to have a little bit of time where I might be able to dig some, some, uh, some decent hours into the game and hopefully get a video out to tell you guys what I think about it. And then we'll see what ends up happening after that. Uh, also today will be, I believe today, if not tomorrow, will be the finale of Always Sometimes Monsters. Uh, what a phenomenal game that was. What a freaking awesome experience and awesome ride that was. And, uh, the ending uh, is surprising, I will say that much. And I'm very curious about other endings that it could have happened. Um, but I, I absolutely adored my time with that game. I think Always Sometimes Monsters is one of those games that not a lot of people, or a lot of people are going to like, uh, but also a lot of people are not going to either get the game or like it either because it's much more choose-your-own-adventure. It's hard to call it a video game um, when it's much more of a choose-your-own-adventure, a digital choose-your-own-adventure. Um and if you called those choose your own adventure books games, then yeah, it's going to be a game. But it's much more just a choose your own adventure with some pixel art kind of slapped next to it. What a phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal experience it was, though. I adored my time with it so much. And I really look forward to uh, seeing your all your reactions to the ending that I ended up getting. It was, uh, it was awesome, though. Such a good game. And Vagabond Dog did uh, a phenomenal job with it. And I'm really glad I got to play the whole thing out with you guys. And you all got to uh, kind of come along for the ride. And hopefully some of you ended up picking up the game and playing along with me to see what, you know, the differences in our decisions ended up making. So here we are again, by the way. I apologize for kind of going off track there for a bit. Um, But the goal here was to get to a place I could sleep. And we ended up coming back very close to where we ended up before. And it looks like we'll be sleeping here again, which is all right with me. Um, I will end up sleeping, so let's go ahead and sleep. I just didn't want to be out much longer there. Um, in the daylight, obviously. As I, I should say, out in the nighttime without daylight, rather. And being exhausted, because my character obviously, uh, has a, a less focused perception. His field of view is, is very minimal. And the time it takes for zombies to kind of click and come into focus is, um, much longer. So we slept till about 11 a.m., Gunshot went off, so here's to hoping that some of the zombies kind of moved off. We'll take a drink from here. And we'll take the food out of here. And uh, we will keep on moving. Now, I will be, I will try and be smart about my situation. It looks like this is pretty emptied out, which is awesome. The gunshot looks like it did a good job. So I'm going to pop into here and, and explore in here that I, I didn't get to do that last time. I should be all right and in finding out and getting my way back to where I was before. I'll take the nails. A hey, fishing line. That's awesome. We might be able to go fucking fishing finally. All right, let's move. I do not want to stay here longer than I have to. This racing track. You know what? This racing track should lead to nothing if I remember correctly from the map. So we'll swing back away and do what we were doing before. Hey! Looting, picking berries, that's awesome. Something we have not really done before and I should start doing. That's great. All right, keep on moving. I apologize too, I don't know if I do, but if I sound winded or exhausted, I've just, I talked so much today that my voice is like, please, Matt, just stop, just stop talking. Um, Because those recording sessions, man, they could take a lot out of you. Even though I don't speak as much as the rest, I still do, you know, three hours straight of thinking and speaking and, and just trying to, you know, play a very 
cerebral game with with uh, other players who are both trying to help and hinder you at the same time, depending on the mo on the mood they're in and what their goals are, can really wipe a person out mentally. Followed by recording what I've already recorded today, which is one. I already recorded like another four or five videos today, so just a lot, a lot, and I'm not done. And again. One day I'll learn that on, on Wednesdays I should probably start recording, or I should say on Tuesdays I should start prepping and recording for Wednesdays. But I'm just not that intelligent of a man. I'm not a smart man. Maybe a practical one, but not a smart one. Alright, so we're going to swing up to this way. We're not nearly in as good shape as we were before. I really wanted to catch his breath. There we go. <coughs> Pardon me. Let's see if I can do some cut through the trees here and lose them. Okay, zombies are stupid. You got to keep that in mind. So running really close to the trees might cut their field of view pretty hef heavily. And it looks like it might have. So if we pop around, once again, kind of cutting off their field of view. It's amazing how bobbing and weaving between something so simple as a very thin line of trees can really, really, really affect your survivability. I always recommend it, man. I'm also going to be playing much, 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 much more careful this time around. So I don't get myself caught out and uh, killed. We also don't have any weapon that has any particular range to it either, so... That's something to keep in mind. Someone who is near the trees, obviously. So this is going to zigzag. Again, I'm... No, I'm not going to be able to cut them off. Ooh, I might be able to lop into those trees over there, but... And right as they lunge, I lost my sprint. Luckily, they're not running zombies, so we're all right. Okay, we've got our breath back, but I might not even need to start running yet. Ah, this is rough. I really want to keep following this road, but the the density of the zombies are rough. Come on. Let's cut through them. In and up, in and up. Nope. All right, we're good. Okay, ran through a freaking tree like an idiot there. Excuse me. Again, I'm trying to stick to the trees as best of my capability just so I can really just lose them from seeing me. I really want to go in here. Because if I can if I can clear this area out too, coming into this area might be a good safe house for me. So we'll wait till her to get close. Kill her off. And maybe we'll just play murder the zombies as they come one at a time. Good kill. Good kill. How's my character doing with like blade? It must be going up, yeah it is. Okay, well that was dumb. I did it a little early, and now we're hurting. I'm actually going to try and take her. Got her. Nothing on her. I was really hoping we'll be able to get a shot. At least we s swing quickly. Okay, well, that didn't happen either. Man. If I can, like, the reason I want to might make my safe house is on the outskirts is because it's going to be the safest. Okay, really? Like, how is that not going through? There we go. The knife is definitely wearing down quite a bit. Now, I definitely saw something over here. There's a few. Got her. I don't like getting that close, man. It is just dangerous. You know, let's uh, pop into this window here instead. Other side. All right, let's see what happens. No alarm. Yep. Got him. She's just banging on the window. Okay, 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 relax. Ugh, I don't like it. Like, they just keep coming. I'm a badass with a knife, for sure, but I'm not secure. I don't feel as secure as I should. Now we can just hope there's no zombies in here. I know this house layout. 
Alright, it's safe. It's a safe layout. I might just call this home for a while. If I can get... Ooh, a hammer. I'm a little bit over encumbered. But it's alright. We're gonna put everything we have into the fridge. Just for simplicity right now. If I can clear this area, we can come back here and, and again, if we can get some fishing line, we got fish, some fishing line rather, if we can get like a fishing pole and stuff, we can really make use of this being uh, by the water. So let's just start unloading a little bit, just for now. For the sake, oh I have a frying pan. I'm gonna leave the hammer, drop the frying pan. Let's start boarding up some of our, not boarding up, but you know, hiding some of our windows. Bullets are gonna go away. Everything else can stay. Bottle of mayo, actually, we can put in the fridge. Come on, there you go. Oh, we have some corn. We have some other stuff in here, too. I didn't realize. Two bowls of water. Do I have a bottle of water? I should have a bottle of water. Oh, unless that was the last playthrough, and I'm just a dinglehorn. All right, let's uh, put the bowls of water away for now. And let's start sheeting up these windows. I left that window wide open like an idiot. And that could have been my death if I wasn't paying attention. Add sheet. Close curtain. We'll check out these bookshelves afterward. And that's it. So we can put these away for now. All right, let's see what we got. Looks like there's some books and stuff in this. Not many. How about over here? A book. A book. All right. Let's actually do a little bit of clearing. I want to make sure this is going to be pretty much as safe as I can possibly make it. Okay, well, she's just walking away. Dead. I would use the hammer, but for now this is instant kill and it works really, really well. Dead. Let's check our health. We're fine. And then this guy over here, and I think that'll be... I'll feel safe enough that way. The body count we've already racked up is pretty fucking high. Dead. Alright. I'm feeling pretty safe. I think we'll wrap this episode up here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, progress. Progress. We're getting there, though. Uh, if you enjoyed this episode, you know what to do by now. Come back tomorrow for some more Daily Project Zomboid. And consider hitting that like button, as it helps me out a great deal. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.